In this short tutorial, we're going to look at how to create large areas of grass but retain well-defined edges. Though grass is being used in this example, the same technique can be used in any situation that requires an accurate boundary. When creating expanses of grass, to cover more area and keep the number of scattered items within a manageable amount, often the size of the objects will need to be quite large. This works great, but if you need to maintain well-defined edges, as in this example where the grass meets a curb, you might run into problems with grass overlapping the edge. This can be easily fixed by changing the boundary checking mode from point, where it uses the pivot point for collision detection, to size so that it uses the actual dimensions of the object. This fixes the overlap, but it leaves a gappy edge. To fix this, we'll use fall off curves to apply smaller grass objects only around the perimeter and create a much better defined effect without unduly increasing the number of scatter objects needed to fill the entire area. It's worth noting at this point that this technique requires splines to define the area. Fall off controls do not yet work when surfaces are being used exclusively. So, to get started, first go to the geometry rollout and add the smaller patch of grass to the forest object. We don't want this small grass to be used for the main area, so now go to the areas rollout, pick the spline and go to the plant section. Turn on select models, click on pick and make sure that only the large clump is selected. Using this property it's possible to control which items are being used on a per area basis. Now turn on the density fall off and set it to about 1 meter in this case. The large plants will become less dense within this distance from the spline. Now add a new spline area and pick the same spline as used for the large grass clump from the scene. To fill in the boundary, simply select Invert Fall Off and change the plant selection so that it's only using the small clumps of grass. If the grass is small enough, turn on Point for boundary checking. However, if you still find it intersects the curb, leave it on size. Since the grass is smaller, we'll need to adjust the scale of the distribution map just for this area to close up the gaps. Go to the override distribution map settings and turn down the scale. And that's it, a grass object with well defined edges capable of covering huge areas using a single forest object. For more tips and tutorials please visit the i2 website and our Vimeo and YouTube channels.